So Allie is driving for the first time. First time, in my life. yeah, first ever. time in her life ever. She doesn't have a license. <laughs> no, it's the first time that she's ever trailered anything. Uh, she's driven the truck. She tried it with the Tacoma, but she hasn't trailered with the new truck. So nothing but straight Texas roads. everyone we are at uh, loves truck stop it's really loud here because I think we're parked somewhere that we're not supposed to be but that's where we're at there's trucks everywhere we're just hanging out probably gonna have some dinner soon boys already ate right troop Well, we made it. We're at a truck stop just outside the Guadalupe Mountain National Park. And uh, this is where we're gonna stay for tonight. It's just a pull off or a rest stop. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna crash here. Wake up tomorrow morning. We're gonna go to Carlsbad Caverns. Uh, we're gonna try to make it. They close at like 2.30, so it's weird hours. So we're gonna try to make that. And then uh, we're definitely going to do the Guadalupe Mountain um, National Park there. So that is the plan. The guys are ready to get out of the car. That's for sure. Right, Ranger? You can see we were right on the side of the highway last night, but it actually wasn't too loud. Pretty decent. At least taking care of the dogs this morning. Over there. And uh, then we're gonna head to the caverns. That is the deal. We just woke up, it's like probably 11, well, 10.30. We kinda got a later night last night, so. This is the second national park that we've been to. First one being the Everglades. And we're pretty excited to go and check out some caves. Right? Spelunking. Spelunking. <laughs> It'll be pretty cool. What are you looking at? Pickles. $4. Jeez. What is it? Get a hat. There you go. This puts the park into perspective. Look. This is the visitor center up here. This is where we're at. And then you walk down into the cave, into the back cave. And you just keep going further down. All the way underground. And then over there is where it's the deepest. That's really cool. We want to make sure to protect it so that it's here forever. So please follow these rules. Make sure that the folks in your audience, kids and adults, so kids, make sure the adults are following the rules.
Well, I must say that was actually pretty awesome. It was a lot bigger than we thought. We probably walked, I don't know, how far did we walk? It's not a mile and a half, but I just think it was like four in total. Yeah, I'm looking at 4.7 miles we walked. Uh, discounting what we walked this morning, probably around camp and whatnot, um, we probably walked like four and a half. So, long day. So Allie, what are you doing? I am working on a um, highlights post. A highlights post. Yeah. Recapping everything that the real estate company that I worked for did last year. So if you guys don't know, Allie works while she's on the road and kind of give people a little brief thing and I guess how you do that. Um, well, I work part time, usually between 15, 25 hours a week, depending on what's going on. Right now it's a slow season for real estate, especially in Maine. Um, so there's not a ton going on. But normally I take a couple hours every day, mostly when we're driving. Um, Zach does most of the driving, since he doesn't always trust me. But when he's driving, I try to do a lot of work on my computer. Usually I can get a hotspot on my phone or his. Um, and then I'll do work at night in the camper on my laptop, you know, work sporadic hours, answer emails, make posts. I do marketing. So I do all of their print ads, all of their um, social media campaigns, and everything like that. So yeah, just nice to have that steady income and keep myself busy and have something to do. place is pretty cool but we're gonna go find camp we're staying tonight at Raptor Lake which is like uh, 10 miles from here or 10 minutes from here okay. Okay. made it to camp not a bad view 